Let me ask you about Sarah Jessica Parker compared to you as somebody to work with, because you have been, it's wrong to say the quintessential character, I don't even know what that means, the quintessential character actor, but you play a whole variety of parts over time and you become those people. And from one part to another, I don't have to shake my concept of you from mm. the last part to this part. She's Carrie Bradshaw, right. period, paragraph. A defining role of her career, a defining role of television. Mm. And so to look at her now, after that, even though she's done things since then, I look at her and I go, oh, look, Thomas Aiden Church is with Carrie Bradshaw. It's right. like hard not to, to see that. So I wonder what it was like to work with her and if you get any sense of her own approach to this character versus, versus yours. Um, when we shot Smart People, uh, which is a, a picture that I did, it's Dennis Quaid and Ellen Page and yep. SJ and myself were the principal characters. I, that was right after Sex and the City had ended. Yep. And, or about the time that it ended. And the new, the, but, the, but, and they hadn't even shot that first movie. Yeah. It was, uh, it was all pretty fresh. But I, I, that experience, I got to witness her completely build a different character, one that was completely removed yep. from Sex and the City. And, and, and in fact, the actress that was gonna do it was Rachel Weitz. And she had signed on, and you know, Rachel Weitz and SJ, I think, pretty far apart sure. in, 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 their care, in their career choices. But Rachel had become pregnant, and it was just, it was just not gonna work out what, for what her to things, do it. Right. And SJ stepped in and kind of at the last minute, but I thought she embodied that character, and maybe the, it's not a picture that's familiar to people, but she played this doctor, you, you know, uh, who has this relationship with Dennis Quaid, completely different, more dramatic, yep. more complex, much more dramatic than Sex in the City. And, but I do agree with you that one of the challenges in promoting the show, and if you've read the reviews, a lot, I think that the, not so much the audience, but a lot of critics have had trouble embracing this isn't bouncy, cheerful Carrie Bradshaw. Right. And bouncy, cheerful, playful, well, they almost want to make it out to be stories. They almost want to make it out to be a sequel. Like that somehow these shows are connected in some way and they're totally, they're just totally different, right? They bring up Sex in the City, I would say, in virtually every review that well, I've read.